guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Hana Lee and you are awesome. Today's video is all about how you get a nice lip shape with lipstick. Sometimes our lips are not as big as we want them or they are not symmetrical. So you can actually do a lot with a little bit of liner and lipstick to make your lips the shape that you want. So I am going to show you how I do mine. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The subscribe button is the awesome red button and hit the little bell. It gives you notifications when I upload new videos so you never miss one. So I learned a little trick that was kind of a game changer. I used to line my lips just along the border. Right outside the border is this little white line. And if you cover that little white line with the lip liner, it really brings your lip game to the next level. It makes the shape beautiful and it doesn't give that like lipstick look where it looks like it's super hard edged. I don't even know how to describe it, but it just kind of blends it out and makes it look more natural. Even if you're going for a bold color that isn't natural, it somehow makes it blend with your face better. So we're gonna start from the center and go just along that outer edge all the way down. Now you can even see already, this side just looks more plump than this side. No difference other than a little bit of this. So we're gonna go on the other side, following your natural shape for the most part, just outside that little border. You can overline to crazy degrees and make your lips look all kinds of cray cray. This is not that, this is just that slight overline that just fills out your lips that little bit and still looks natural. So again, you can see on the bottom, see how there's just that little white edge. So we're gonna just take this, just go right along that edge and you can see the difference on the sides. So we're gonna do this side. And bring it just under. And that alone makes your lips look nice and full, kind of evens it out and makes it so that the lipstick won't have that hard edge. Now, if you want to actually change the shape of your lip a little bit, you can also do that with lip liner and lipstick. I'm going to go just a little fuller on the outside of the upper lips, but not all the way to the bottom here. I'm going to exaggerate it in the air, but it's going to kind of go like that. Not, not super back in, but just up and then down straighter. So we get that nice like heart on the top. Just a little bit further out here and bring it down. And then the same on the other side. Just a little further out and down. Then you just kind of color it in a little bit with this liner here. This is a, obviously a very natural color lip liner. So this just kind of puts on the base so that you have a nice canvas. You already have the shape. So then when you put on the lipstick, you just follow that shape. Makes your life a whole lot easier. This is XXV Beauty in the color satin if you are interested. Then I'm gonna take XXV Beauty color in Chit Chat. This is one of my favorite colors. It's a matte liquid lipstick. For this, we're just gonna follow the lines that we've now created. Go just to that edge and bring it down. And just to that edge and bring it down. See, we have that nice heart shape. They look very full. Magic. We go on the bottom, follow that edge all the way across. Some people, when they are now smudging the lips together, you can go too far and then get a line here. But if you want to keep that nice widow's peak there, don't do that. Just here's a key trick to blot so it doesn't get on your teeth. Take one finger, wipe your lips that way. Just going on a napkin doesn't actually remove it so much from the inside. So I do one finger and then on the other side, like that, and you can see it brings off a little bit. Wipe that off on whatever, and there you have it. It doesn't get on your teeth, and lips look beautiful, and there you go. The following, the white line right outside your lips, total game changer. If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. I hope these tips helped. Leave a comment what else you'd like to see, and I will see you in the next one.